Well, this is Nathan Oakley. You call me Nate Dog. This is the new edition of the Nate Dog edition. This fool behind me is John with a Russian last name I can't pronounce. It's it's <laughs> Polish and it's Kurowski. Or, or it could be Polish. I don't know. <laughs> and this guy right here is Ben Hicks. He's our chauffeur for today, and we are going to Comic Con. <laughs> there we go. We are going to Denver Comic Con. And this is going to be one of my first of maybe too many documentaries of my adventures with not only just myself but with these two guys right here. So, and uh, this is just a rough shot, but we are going to Denver Comic Con right now. And, uh, uh, Comic Con bitches. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, I'm gonna try to meet some people and I'm gonna try to meet Ray Park. If you don't know who Ray Park is, he is, um, he played Dark Maul in uh, Star Wars. He played uh, Snake Eyes in uh, two G.I. Joe films. And um, I had, he's uh, probably one of those great martial artists that uh, who's probably a way underrated in my opinion. Absolutely. And, uh, uh, and I actually have a movie of his here. I actually got a movie that he's been on. This one right here. I'm gonna try to get a picture with this guy and uh, and uh, see what else they got going on over there. Ben here has his family going over there. What's his sister's family? His sister's family. Yep. Sister's family. He's gonna be time. over there for the first time. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. And then, but I'll probably just be shooting videos all around the place, and, uh, and then uh, when I get home, I'll probably edit it together and uh, show you what Comic Con is like in Denver if you uh, never been down there. So, uh, so it's this awesome. is take one, shot one, and this is a uh, cut, it. print, wrap it up. All right, that's a wrap. <laughs> yeah. Bam. Peace. <laughs>
artistic appreciation. And that's the thing about art, is even though some people interpret art one way and some people interpret art another way, it's art, it is what it is, and it should be enjoyed and appreciated, even though there is a disconnect, even though there's some people that say, hey, I don't understand that painting, or I don't understand that sculpture, or whatever. That's the wonderful thing about art, you don't have to just appreciate it for what it is, and I think that's where the disconnect and the connect actually kind of meld together. Everybody should enjoy art as it is and as, as how they appreciate it, you know, that's how I feel. Or we could just make a million comic book movies until the whole thing's just overblown and there's, I can't count all the comic book movies out right now. Apparently there's an Aquaman movie, I didn't even know. Apparently the guy's here. Yeah, no, didn't even know. I want to go back to the days when movies counted. Yeah. They're everything in the world. Oh, yeah. yep. Now they just make it, they make some money, they go on to the next one. Oh, yeah. Passion. Passion that's, for the craft. That's the problem. That's why there's so many fans, though, too, which is why I do appreciate it. That's why you have so many comic book fans. I don't know much about these things. I just like Batman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, speaking of, are you guys DC? Are you guys Marvel? Oh, or are you just like mixing it up? I'm Marvel all the way. Yeah. But I also, I like, mean, Common Con over to Colorado Convention Center. Yeah. Put that book back up. This oh. is what John got. These are words right for me to live by. So it's a little bouncy. When you see something that speaks to you, it speaks to you and you have to have it. These are my words. Explain to people Thank what that you, is. Was that enough? Huh? Explain well, to people what that is. Oh, uh, well, it's it's a book. It's basically just like, I mean, the cover of it are the words, uh, are, it's the words of the, the swordsman. You will, not, you will not have a life, a wife, a crown, a, a crown. All you are is a sword. And that's, it speaks to me. That's why I, I had to have it because the, I mean, all of that right there basically says the creed of the, 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 the night owner, watchman. The owner. <laughs> but you're the night the watchman. Night watchman. Mm -hmm. The best advice is bring a smile. Yeah, <laughs> bring a smile. <laughs> that too, bring a smile. So, um,. Well, yeah, I think we all had a great time. Yeah? Had a great time. Had a great time? Oh, yeah. Great. Spectacular. Above and beyond, like, yeah. one of the best times ever. It's a, a memory that I can keep with me for the rest of my life. Do it. It's <laughs> worth it. it. It's so spectacular. Even if you don't like, you know, superheroes and all that stuff, com comic books, anime, just still, it's it's the place to be. It's the place to go to feel accepted. If you're not feeling accepted, go there, and it's worth it every yeah. single second, every single moment. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so, 
Um, so we're gonna be heading home now. So I'd like to thank this guy, John Karowski. The guy with the Russian last name I can't pronounce. <laughs> it's it's Polish and Polish. it's Karowski. <laughs> it's called Ben Hicks, Ben Hick, because he's a hick. <laughs> ben Hicks, our sofer. And uh, the day after uh, Comic Con, and uh, I, uh, first I just want to say thank you for Ben and John for coming out to hang out with me at the Comic Con. I also like to single out Ben for providing the tickets, and uh, it was a Christmas it was a Christmas present to me, so. Uh, thank you, Ben, and uh, uh, see, this year's Comic Con was definitely better than the last one, and I always say that because, uh, for some who don't know, I am a one-time fighter, and I had a fight last year, and it was the day before Comic Con, and uh, Comic Con was supposed to be sort of like my after party, and uh, uh, in the fight, I uh, got injured. I injured my foot, and uh, so the following day, where I couldn't get any sleep, uh, I was really tired, and I'm limping around Comic Con all day. So that was why I didn't like that experience. So because I got injured, but this year is definitely a lot better. So um, what I like to say about Comic Con is, uh, for one thing, it's definitely a good place for you guys for everybody out there to be just themselves even if you're a little weird even if you're not you know um and uh it gives you uh a chance just to be yourself and um uh, a lot of people out there they dress up as their favorite who's who of cute of uh superheroes and favorite comic book characters, whatever. And uh, definitely have actors down there and they have writers down there, they have artists down there, they have uh, people out there who are trying to uh, make a name for themselves, trying to expand their, their, uh, their uh, expertise in Whatever it is they do, whether it's art, comic books, acting, whatever. So uh, they're trying to break out. They're trying to break a name for themselves out there. So also, um, uh, I also got to meet was uh, one of my best experiences down there. I got to meet uh, Ray Park. If you don't know who Ray Park is, uh, he was in Star Wars: The Phantom Menace uh, as. Dark Maul, he was also Snake Eyes and the G.I. Joe franchise. And he's also, in this movie, he's definitely one of my favorite ones. And that's the guy right there. And you should check this movie out. It's really good, it's really funny. It's got that English humor. It's based on a comic book in the UK. Uh, which where this guy, Scott Atkins, co-wrote and co-produced. Um, great movie, check it out. You'll, you'll definitely, you'll definitely love it, I can tell you that, so. And for those who don't believe that I read Main Park, I got evidence right here. There he is. Two of the greatest martial artists there is in one picture. So, but yeah, uh, Comic Con next year, go check it out. Uh, we'll have to go on the website to find out when that's going to happen. Uh, but check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, I certainly did. And uh, the, the whole purpose of me making these videos was to uh, show you guys my adventure side and uh, it's because my mom told me one time, it really stuck with me that I am the adventure type, I love going on adventures which is all true 
and uh, as a, uh, a part of working on my happiness, uh, going on adventures makes me happy. So, and, uh, and I want to continue to go on adventures no matter what, and, um, and I encourage everybody, all you guys, to go on adventures on your own. And no matter how poor or how rich you are, you need to be able to get out, get some fresh air, have some fun, and uh, uh, step out of your box, step out of your cell, and uh, uh, again, just just go have fun. It's, it's definitely worth going out of the venture. So it's, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. So and. Uh, and uh, so uh, I also plan on making a couple more of these videos and uh, I would appreciate any advice you guys might have in order for me to make my future projects better. Uh, I'm sorry that this video is a little bit terrible and I did the best I could so um, uh, but in any case uh, I hope you guys go on an adventure on your own. I encourage you guys to go on an adventure on your own. Uh, do positive things with your life, and uh, and I appreciate you guys watching this video. And uh, hope and hopefully I'll get some fans to watch this video. So uh, please share this video if you like. And uh, uh, you know what? Just uh, thank you and uh, have a. Have a good day.